we're going to do in this video is show you how you can enroll a device in Android Work Profile, which is one of the flavors of Android Enterprise. Now on this device, it's a, it's a personal device in theory, and I've got my Play Store account, my personal Play Store account in there. So I'm just going to fire up the Play Store and download the company portal. And this is the obviously the Microsoft Intune uh, app that we use to sign in. So if we go ahead and install that. Now what I've done just whilst we're waiting for this is prepared a basic policy and applied it to the user that I'm going to sign into the Intune company portal with. And what we should see is once we sign in it would recognize that there's a work profile policy assigned to that user and then it should go ahead and generate that Android work profile on this device. Okay if we open the company portal and then hit the sign in where it says sign in in the middle this is using my corporate account so this is just a sort of demo user in a lab so I sign in this is just generally your, your, your email address so in this instance my user is called Lucas if we go hit next and then put in Lucas's password so this will just be the same password that you use for logging on to your PC or logging on to, you know, your email or whatever. So what that should do is sign me into the company portal, make some checks and you can see there that it's recognized as a work profile to be um, created. So we hit begin, uh, we'll get the kind of notice about just letting you, the, the end user know because this is their personal device, what can be seen by Intune. Uh, we need to obviously uh, acknowledge some of the permissions and things like that that it may encrypt certain bits and pieces that all depends on the policy that's been set and we'll get this kind of acceptance from uh, from Google about Android and creating a work profile so that takes just a minute or two to go ahead and create your work profile once that's doing that we'll just have to wait it doesn't take very long just a few minutes but just remember this is a kind of bring your own type scenario typically or often it is actually a company device but we you know we don't necessarily mind the end user using it as the personal device um, but generically it's classed as a bring your own device type scenario so we've got the work profile created we hit continue now that should go ahead and register the device and, and get it all activated All that's doing is that speaking to Microsoft Intune and making that registration so that when you administer Microsoft Intune or Endpoint Manager uh, through the Endpoint Manager console, you'll see that device listed as well as the user, of, of, of course. So that should go ahead again. That takes just a few minutes. Um, generally, we find that users can perform this kind of action on their own. Doesn't often need too much hand holding or assistance from you know an IT admin sometimes obviously you do get errors and maybe they, they go out of order in s some cases but generally if you just follow the instructions which are not too bad then uh, you should be good to go so it's just about finished setting up that work profile uh, now this is just an option that I've set, got set on my tenant to choose basically what departments I'm in you may or may not have that. I've got that on my tenant, so um, the user just chooses where they live and that helps kind of categorize things. And there you see, we're done. What that will do now drops me into the company portal. As an end user, generally not going to be too fussed about that, so we'll close that down. And what we'll see now, if we swipe down or swipe up even, um, we'll see we've got two, two areas now. We've got personal and we've got work. You notice the briefcase icons on the work I on the work apps. Now we can of course temporarily disable the work profile. So that basically means that you're not going to get bothered any notifications from work. Yeah, all my personal stuff still stays as it is. And then when I come back into work, I can enable that like so. And really it's as simple as that. Um, if we go into the 
uh, company portal or the app store sorry in the work profile we'll see that we've got some apps there and you can push those applications out um, from Microsoft Intune what I'm also going to do is just show you a little bit of the back end of that so it's a really really simple policy so I'm using the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center you can of course use the the full Microsoft Intune console through uh, through Azure but this is the one that I, I, I'm, I like using nowadays so to get to here I've basically gone into devices and then down the list to configuration profiles and then I created this um, WMOG Android work profile this is based on a demonstration that I did at the uh, Windows Management User Group in London in January so if I open this up we'll see if I hit properties and go into settings I've just set a handful of things up in here so just some general settings like you can block copy and paste between work and personal profile so you can block that or enable that uh, I'm not going to go through them all but you can see the kind of things like you can block screen capture camera uh, and then require a work profile password so on that one I, re I set it to require a work profile password so um, what should happen is that the user gets prompted for a pin if they want to go into the work profile apps um, similar kind of thing we need to make sure that on uh, on that device there's there's passwords a bit of security checking um, whatever you want it's just a real real light example policy that I've set up there and what I've done is I've assigned that out to uh, a group which just contains that demonstration user for the purposes of this but you generally will target that at a user because obviously at the point of enrollment you don't already know the device uh, and it's theoretically a, a personal device that's not owned by your um, organization um, that's really it I just wanted to show you that if you want to deploy apps to the work profile you do that in exactly the same way so through the apps here again I'm not going to go through that in this particular session but that's all I wanted to show you for now. I uh, hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.